Heard of bottom navigation view? Is it hard to implement and work with? Of course not and I'll show you how. Hello and welcome to Prego Coding Classes. This is Amber Roy and you are watching part 8 of my series of how to make a chat application using Android Studio. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So in the previous video, as you have already seen, we have already implemented the bottom navigation view. Now we need to just play around with it. So we are in the text tab of the activity chat main XML file and we just need to change some stuff. But before that, let's go to menu and hit on bottom nav menu.xml and over here we need to change this item titles. So the home over here becomes chat with the ID of navigation chat. The dashboard over here becomes friend list and the notification over here becomes friend request. So these are the three changes we make for now. And now we go to our drawable folder and right click. Now we go to new and we go to vector assets and we just need to import three of the assets just to change the icons of the three tabs. So we hit on this icon over here and we write here message. So this one pops up, just select it, hit OK and we'll select the black one. So I'll change the color to black, choose and just hit next and uh, let's hit previous and change the name to IC chat, hit next and hit finish. Now we need to import another one. So new vector asset. Click on this and right here, reorder. So we need to select this one. Okay, next, uh, just previous. And uh, just right here, friend list, list, hit next, finish. And another one, hit new, vector asset, hit this icon. Just right here, add and select this person add, hit okay. We'll write in here, friend request hit next and then it finish. So we are done with importing all the icons. We just need to place it here. So this one changes with chat. This one changes with uh, friend list and this one changes with friend request. Now we just need to change the IDs. So this one would be friend list and this one would be friend request. So now that we are done with this thing, let's close the XML and let's close this XML too. And now we are going to work with fragments. So let's right click on app, new, fragment, blank fragment and just uncheck these two fields and we'll rename it as fragment chat main, hit finish. So after the fragment syncs completely, we'll go to the XML layout of the fragment and we'll quickly delete this text view and replace it with a recycler view. So this one with match parent and match parent. And that's it what we do. And we also assign an ID to this one with chat main recycler. That's it what we need to do. Now we can go on working with the card layout. Now to do the card layout, we simply right click on resources, new, then we go to Android resource file. Then we select value as layout. And over here we give the name as card view chat main. And uh, we'll select it as card view. Hit OK. And that's it. So that we have made our card view layout. Let's go to the text tab. And over here we need to do some more settings of elevation as 96 dp and corner radius of let's say 12 dp and we have the padding of 10 dp when that is done let's create a linear layout of match parent and wrap content and over here let's just uh, wrap the content for now and underneath we need an orientation of horizontal and underneath this lay linear layout, we need another linear layout. Now we'll just uh, wrap the content and wrap the content and the orientation would be vertical 
and underneath we need an image view of 150 dp and underneath we need another one of 150 dp and if this one is too big so let's make it just uh, let's make it uh, 100 and over here we'll also give 100 and when that is done underneath this linear layout we need another linear layout with wrap content and wrap content or uh, let's uh, match the parent this orientation would also be vertical and underneath we need a text view of match parent and wrap content and over here just write a text which will say example and we'll give an alignment of center and we'll give a font family of pro bold and we'll write here a text size of say 20 sp and we'll give it an id but before that we need to copy it and paste it down below so that we don't need to work extra just paste it down below and we have the same thing so we'll write here continuous strings just to check if things are okay and we need it to be represented like the way it is being represented right now now we just need to change the font to advent semi bold and we need the text size to be 16 sp so change this to 16 and that's it we are done now we just need to assign ids so for this title text view i'll give it chat main user name and underneath we'll give id chat main user message and on the top underneath the image view we'll give id of chat main user image and we'll also do one thing we'll give it a scale type of center crop that's it we are done with the image view and everything so just change the padding from here to underneath here and also give a margin over here of 5 dp and underneath this we need another margin of 5 dp let's give a margin top over here of 5 dp now that's it it is not looking clumsy rather it is looking okay that's it we are done with the chat main card view layout and now we'll go on working with the friend list and the friend request fragments now as i'll make this series in small snippets let's call it an end did you like this video let me know in the comment box also, if you are getting benefits from this channel and the videos, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so that you get notified of my latest uploads then and there. Did you check out my Patreon page yet? You can actually get exclusive videos which cannot be found anywhere else. You just have to pay a small tire price which will be used mostly for the betterment of this channel. Link can be found in the description box. Also, follow me on Twitter on my Twitter handle that is at codingprego. Thank you. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye. If you have liked the video, hit the like button, then the subscribe button, and then the bell icon.